Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. We are on day two, kind of part two of our morning. It is about 12.30. We decided to walk over to um, All Star Music, and it's way closer to the Mighty Ducks than walking over to the front um, transportation center at All Star Movies, where we're staying. And we're gonna hop on the bus to Hollywood Studios and go to the land of Batu and check it out. So let's go have a great day. Of the bus. He's not amused. All right, that bus ride was pretty short from um, All Star Resorts to Hollywood Studios. And I have a serious popcorn bucket issue. I just want to put this out there. I've lost the top just from our resort room to the entrance of Hollywood Studios about five times. So this will be fun. I'll just get a new one if I lose it. Whatever. As long as I don't lose popcorn. All right, here we go. Batu, I'm coming for you. So they have none of the Skyliners out. You can see they've been running them, but um, Hurricane Dorian is coming in like a day. So they've taken up all the scrim. I'll show you guys. All the scrim is off. So they have all the gondola carriages put away for safekeeping so that they can keep the whole Skyliner line safe during the high winds that they expect for the storm coming. But um, Disney does a great job of preparing for all this stuff, so I know that we're in the safest place we can possibly be. And the happiest place. Only because literally the minute after we get in here, it starts sprinkling. Literally. Always. I swear to God I couldn't make this, I could not make this up. All right, Starbucks, here we come, because that is our tradition, that's what we do, and that's what we need. I was like, you ready to go to bed too? No. And he, he's like, I was like, it's in Hollywood Studios. He goes, why didn't you just say that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, walking into Star Wars Galaxy's Edge for the first time. What is today, September 1st? I was like, how come sometimes they're wooing and sometimes they're not? <laughs> <laughs> Docking Bay 7 with Hughes and Brews, Karen and Kevin. There's Karen, hi! Kevin's getting the food. This is ours. I'm gonna show it to you guys real quick so Luke can eat and doesn't have to wait 10 more minutes. Uh, <laughs> so we got the kids tip yip, which is basically fried chicken with mac and cheese and broccoli. I got the Luke spread. It's the vegetarian it looks like it's gonna be the kefta, like impossible kefta, with some hummus underneath and some veggies and pita. And then I got the Takodana Quencher, the Cardi Dragon Berry, and Blue Carousel. We'll check it out. Power of the First Order. If we believe you're hiding something, we will find out. Are we clear? We are clear, sir.
got the Vespin Fizz and Luke got the non-alcoholic carbon freeze. He clearly liked it. It was gone in about 25 seconds. <laughs> this um, It really tastes like um, a cranberry and pomegranate cocktail. Like nothing really special. It has, it comes bubbly. Oh, it's sparkly. I didn't see that. Oh my gosh! I didn't even notice that before. See all the sparkles? All right, I guess that makes it better. It's sparkly. I like it now. Okay, so for our second drink, we got the Jedi Mind Trick, right here. All three of us got it. It's really good. We picked it out because it was the least sweet of everything, because everything seems to be loaded with sugar. DJ Rex is right there. And for Luke, we got the, the coffee drink, and it is gross. It is not good. It tastes like if you mixed a juice bar juice with an ex espresso and then put some sugar in it. I don't know. I don't recommend this one. Not so much. That wraps it up for a really fun visit to Bath 2. We ate at Oga's. Um, no, we didn't eat at Oga's. We ate at Docking Bay 7. The food was really, really good. The vegetarian dish I had was delicious, full of flavor, very moist um, meatballs. Vegetarian meatballs, they, they tasted so good. And Luke had the kids chicken finger with um, macaroni and cheese and broccoli. It was all really, really good. And everything that Karen and Kevin had, they liked too. The drink was a little bit sweet for me, but it's still, still good. All Disney drinks are really sweet. Then we went to Hoga's Cantina. We had a couple drinks there. Most of them were a win. Um, also very sugary, but they all had good flavor. They were fun. You're more there for the atmosphere, which was fun. Um, we enjoyed all of it, and, except for the coffee drink. I don't, I really don't recommend that, but to each their own, maybe you'll love it. Just wasn't my cup of coffee. <laughs> but we'll be back, hopefully, if uh, the storm passes, we'll be back in about two days to ride um, Smuggler's Run. We didn't take the time to do that today. We just wanted to take it all in which really there's there's so much to take in you just everywhere you look it's in incredible just the imagineering is literally out of this world so we're gonna wrap it up luke and i are gonna go ride a couple of rides before we head out of here and go clean up and then head to magic kingdom for part two of day two so thanks for coming along on our trip to bad two and stay tuned for more of our adventures remember every day is a countdown to disney Oh yeah, and make sure you guys go subscribe to our friends Hughes and Brews. Kevin and Karen are awesome people. We had so much fun hanging out with them on Betu, and I look forward to seeing them again soon. Bye, you guys. Mm -hmm.